Verse 9 says, For a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. There are going to be some adversaries on this, on this journey. Yes, but I want you to know that, that, that we are effectual as part of the body of Christ. Uh -huh. And there is nothing that can hinder the growth of the church. That's right. We have to have faith uh -huh. that the church may, may continue and that we may continue to be effectual door yeah. that is open to the Lord. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Turn with me to verse 12. I'll read it. says, Furthermore, when I came to Torres to preach God Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. And what was going on here, uh, someone had wronged someone else in the body of Christ. Someone had did somebody wrong in the body of Christ. So Paul is trying to tell the church at Corinth to forgive. Mm -hmm. Verse 6, verse 5 of chapter 2 says, But if any have caused grief, he has not grieved me but in part that I may not overcharge you all. Sufficient to such a man is this punishment which was inflicted of many. Sometime on this, on this journey, we, uh, the body of Christ, we're going to have disagreements and yeah. somebody might do us wrong. Right. But Paul is trying to tell us to, to not to overcharge this brother or sister in fault. Amen. Not to continue to, to not forgive them. Right. We, are, we, are open, we are the church, an open, a church of the open door. And it says, sufficient to such a man is this punishment which was afflicted in many. Yes. So that contrawise, ye ought to rather to forgive him and comfort him, lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with over much sorrow. Yes. All right, now. Wherefore I beseech you that ye would confirm your Lord, your love toward him. For to this end also did I write that I might know the proof of you, whether be, ye be obedient in all things. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgave you. For if I forgive anything to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgive I it in the person of Christ. Lest Satan should get up an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Furthermore, when I came to Torres to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. There's a door that is open even in forgiveness. Paul is trying to tell us that we have a door that is open to forgive our brothers and sisters. He, the word gives us the strength to forgive. That, 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 there's no need to, to hinder God's progress. Amen. There's no need to, to keep on not forgiving our brothers and sisters. Amen. Because God has given the church what we need to forgive. Yes, it has. He, he don't want us to hold on to this problem right. that, that that brother or sister that we refuse to forgive with it, we still have we're still holding them down. Yeah. We, we're holding them down in grief and we, we're holding them down in sorrow because we won't forgive them. We won't, but, but there's a door open that allows us to forgive. Amen. Amen. We can't stand in front of the judgment of God and say, Lord, I didn't forgive him or her because of this. Yeah. God said he has opened the door that we may forgive. Yeah. See, see, this open door goes, goes all kind of ways. It goes in forgiveness. It goes with, with witnessing. It goes in love yeah. because it's of, it's of the church. Yeah. It's of the church. The church, the key to the open door. We, we have the keys to the open door, not, not only to witness, but also to forgive. Amen. Not only to witness, but also to forgive, also to love our enemies. Amen. That's, that, that's what the key is about. We have been equipped with the right key. Yeah. 
we have been equipped with the right key that the door may be open to the lost. Yeah. And, and there's another door. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. And, and, and Jesus is the door. Amen. And, and we can't walk into the open door down here, we're not going to be able to walk into the doors of heaven. Wow. But we have been equipped with the keys to the open door that the world may have a chance to the tree of life. Yeah. The church, the key to the open door. As Christ is the door. And if you walk in that door, you shall be saved. Yeah. So remember that the church is the key to the open door. And that Jesus is the door. Yeah. And if any man enter that door, all his sin shall be wiped away. Yeah. If any man enter that door, he shall not have a hunger or thirst again. Right. If any man enter that door, yeah. he shall receive eternal life. Yeah. For the word said that for God so gave so love the world, yeah. that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. Yeah. He's talking about his son, the door, which is Jesus Christ, yeah. the bread of life, yeah. the lily of the valley, yeah. the bright and the morning star, yeah. the wheel in the middle of the wheel, yeah. our Lord and Savior, the bright and morning star. Yeah. Jesus is the door, the door to the kingdom of heaven, yeah. and he has the key to the gates of hell, and he also holds the key to heaven. Yeah. But if you trust and believe in our Lord, you shall receive eternal life. Yeah. For the same Jesus that we worship, and the same Jesus that we serve, yeah. and the same one went to the hill, the hill that we heard about this morning, wow. the hill of Calvary. He went to the hill where they crucified my Lord. Yeah. He went to the hill where he was on, a, on, a, on that old rugged cross. Yeah. They pierced him in the side. And they laid him in a bar tomb. But the same Lord and the same door got a burden on that Thursday morning with all power in his hand. Power saved a wretch like me. And I'm so glad that Jesus is the door that I may have eternal life. Don't you know that the church is founded on Jesus Christ? So he is the door, and we are the little doors. And he's the big door. But the little door and the big door is connected together. And what he feels, we feel. And what he knows, we know. For he is the true vine. And we are the branches. And we're connected to the vine. And we are the church being connected to the vine. And for all the things that he has. The church. The key to the open door. It's time for us to go out there and win souls. It's time for us to tell the world about Jesus Christ. It's time for us to go to the bars and to the highways and to the byways yeah. and comp compare men and women, boys and girls, about Jesus Christ, yeah. my Lord. Amen. Well, Amen. The church, yeah. Amen. the key to the open door. Yeah. All right. that was good.